Well, demonstrations are continuing in Turkey against the appointment of a university rector who has ties with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Let's get more on that from Matthew in the Cube. Well, Isabel, since 2016 and the attempted coup, demonstrations against the authorities in a public way in Turkey are rare and hardly tolerated. So it has generated headlines when protests have taken place at Boğaziçi University in Istanbul. It's one of Turkey's premier higher education facilities and it's where teaching is done predominantly in English. But this week, these have been the scenes out on the streets. You can see there with those pictures, thousands of people outside the campus in Istanbul. And these are not just students, you also have university academics taking place placed directly against the authorities. People chanting that students and teachers are in solidarity against each other. We know that 17 people were arrested on Tuesday by Turkish authorities and they carried out further raids. But why are these protests taking place? Well, this is all about the controversial appointment of a new university rector. Following a presidential decree by Recep Tayyip Erdogan, Meli Bulu has been appointed to that position. He had previously been a member of Erdogan's Justice and Development Party. And people within the university believe that appointing someone by a president presidential degree, someone who has come from outside the university and who has also had a previous political career, well, they see that as a curtail of academic freedoms and an attempt by the authorities to seize power at the university. And they've been supported by a number of people on social media. But Turkey has defended this appointment. A spokesperson for the Justice and Development Party said that this appointment was legal. And what's more, Meli Bulu himself, this new rector, has released a statement on Twitter in which he hopes to bring people together at the university and continue to make it one of the world's top higher education facilities. And what's more, the Interior Minister of Turkey has suggested that those people you saw out on the streets, they don't believe that they were all students. There are allegations that a lot of them were also part of marginal left-wing groups. And Isabel, it's also worth considering that a number of people have pointed out those demonstrations are also taking place with the COVID-19 pandemic. The authorities, they say, are there to protect the health and safety of everyone. But those demonstrations against President Erdogan and this new rector are set to continue it for a fourth day into Thursday. Okay, well, Matt, many thanks.